Eight eye-opening warning signs. Is cancer silently sneaking up on you? A dangerous condition like cancer can sometimes go undetected until it's too late. Sadly, a vast majority of cancer sufferers don't even recognize they have the illness until it's too late. All malignancies cannot be detected or prevented, but by being aware of some warning signs, you can discover the illness early and improve your chances of survival. Here are eight warning signs that may indicate that cancer is silently sneaking up on you. Unexpected weight loss should be taken seriously, especially if it's large and happen accidentally. It may occasionally be an indication of malignancy. Cancer cells can deplete the body's energy and nutrition and nutrition when they develop. Rapid and unintended weight loss may result from this. Furthermore, the cancer itself may alter the body's metabolism, increasing the requirement for calories. Additionally, a loss of weight may result from this. Fever, discomfort, and weariness can also be cancer signs. It's crucial to consult your doctor if you've noticed weight loss in any of these symptoms. They can perform tests to determine if cancer is present and recommend treatments if so. If you've recently lost a significant amount of weight without trying to, it's important to take notice and talk to your doctor. Unexpected weight loss can indicate cancer, but it can also be brought on by other medical disorders, including thyroid issues, diabetes, or depression. Your doctor can suggest possible treatments and assist you in identifying the problem. Any abnormal bleeding or discharge in the body should be handled carefully since it might indicate a medical issue. Unexpected bleeding or discharge, particularly when it is recurring or prolonged, may be an indication of malignancy. Unusual bleeding can be brought on by cancer, either directly or indirectly. Cancer can directly result in bleeding due to tissue development and destruction, which frequently results in abnormal bleeding. For instance, uterine cancer may be the cause of irregular vaginal bleeding. Cancer affects the body's clotting systems, which indirectly causes bleeding. This might result in significant bleeding from a typical injury or just spontaneous bleeding. You should visit a doctor if you're experiencing unusual bleeding or discharge. A doctor can run tests to identify the source of the bleeding or discharge and may suggest additional medical care. It's crucial to get medical help as soon as you can since early detection is the key to beating cancer. Although unusual bleeding or discharge might not be cause for concern, it is crucial to be certain because it could be an indication of malignancy. You should always be mindful to monitor changes in your habits and see a doctor if they continue, as changes in bowel movements can be an indication of cancer. Blood in the stool, diarrhea, and constipation can all be symptoms of cancer and need to be treated at once. Having fewer than three bowel movements each week is referred to as constipation, and it can be an indication of malignancy. Abdominal discomfort, bloating, and a sense of incomplete evacuation are frequently present in conjunction with this. Constipation can have many different causes, but if it lasts more than a few days, it can be a sign of something more severe. Diarrhea is the opposite of constipation and is defined as having more than three bowel movements a day. The presence of blood in the stool is also a sign of cancer. This can be a sign of colon, rectal, or stomach cancer and should be addressed as soon as possible. It is still necessary to have it evaluated by a doctor even if hemorrhoids and other diseases can also result in blood in the stool. It's crucial to visit a doctor as soon as you can if you notice any of these changes in your bowel habits. To ascertain what caused the alliterations, they might conduct tests. They could be the result of a benign ailment, but they might also be an indication of malignancy. Being proactive if you notice any changes in your bowel movements is crucial since early identification can increase your chances of making a full recovery. You should see your doctor if you have prolonged, particularly high levels of fatigue. It's important to pay attention to unexplained weariness since it may indicate a dangerous underlying problem like cancer. Tiredness that lasts more than a few weeks without an apparent cause is the most typical indicator of cancer-related tiredness. It's vital to understand that this kind of exhaustion is distinct from the typical fatigue that results following a long day. Cancer-related tiredness can be characterized as exhaustion that persists even after resting and makes it challenging to do other previously simple tasks like including taking a stroll or taking care of home duties. Other diseases, including anemia, thyroid disease, sleep apnea, depression, and chronic illnesses can also contribute to fatigue. 
it's critical to keep an eye out for further symptoms that can point to a more serious underlying disease. Loss of appetite, weight loss, and night sweats are some other indicators of cancer-related lethargy. It's crucial to discuss the source of your inexplicable weariness with your doctor to find a solution. Unidentified lumps or swelling on the body can be alarming and worrying, and they may be signs of several conditions, including cancer. If you've got any issues, approximately lumps or swelling that emerge in your body, mainly if they may be persistent or recurrent, it's far critical to consult a clinical expert. Lymphoma, leukemia, and breast cancer are the maximum regular cancers that could bring about lumps or swelling. A malignancy that influences the lymphatic device that is in the rate of heading off infections and different ailments is referred to as lymphoma. Leukemia is a blood cellular malignancy which can result in enlarged lymph nodes in addition to other tumors or swelling. Breast cancer can reason lumps in the breast tissue and those lumps can be felt or visible. Different conditions can reason lumps or swelling, inclusive of benign tumors, cysts, and infections. It is important to get a diagnosis from a medical doctor to differentiate between cancer and different conditions. If you have got any lumps or swelling that seem on your body that persist or recur, it is vital for you to seek a clinical recommendation. Your doctor can take a look at the lumps, order checks, and discuss any ability cancer risk. Chest discomfort or a persistent cough may indicate a potentially dangerous medical problem. It should not be disregarded since it can be a sign of lung cancer. Visit your doctor as soon as possible if you suffer from one of these symptoms. The most common cause of death from cancer overall in the U.S. is lung cancer. In 2021, it's anticipated that over 228,820 people will receive this diagnosis. Unfortunately, the majority of patients do not recognize they have the condition until it's advanced, making treatment extremely challenging. The first warning sign of lung cancer might be a chronic cough or chest discomfort, and early identification is crucial to increasing survival chances. No matter your age, gender, or skin tone, skin cancer is a dangerous and sometimes fatal disorder that may affect everyone. It's critical to remain alert to any changes in your skin's look that could be signs of skin cancer. Unusual rashes, mole changes, or persistent sores on the skin might all be symptoms of illness. You should visit a healthcare professional as soon as possible if you detect any changes in the look of your skin. Your healthcare professional can examine the region and decide whether or not it's malignant. They'll be able to tell you more about your options for treatment if it turns out to be malignant. Unhealing wounds may be an indication of skin cancer. These lesions are frequently elevated, red, and prone to bleeding. They can also be found anywhere on the body but the face, neck, and arms where they are most frequently encountered. It's critical to get medical help as soon as you discover any sores that aren't healing.